So I know y'all always come in here like, but she relaxed, so no. I am relaxed, if you didn't know. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Niara Alexis, and like the title says today, we're gonna be trying the Color Wow Dream Coat Extra Strength on my hair that has not been relaxed in six months. I wanna see how it works, okay? My hair's relaxed, so this might react differently on my relaxed hair than it does on your non-relaxed hair, if you don't have relaxed hair. Um, but one thing I do wanna point out is that I have not relaxed my hair since late December, so it's just gonna be as much of a test for me as it would be for somebody who does not have relaxed hair because, uh, y'all see these roots? They're puffing. So any sort of humidity is gonna bring that out of my roots too, not just yours, boo. Um, I did try the original version of this. But I also tried it, like it was like the end of last summer when my hair was freshly relaxed. So I wanted to give this a try when my hair is not as relaxed. The only difference that you can really see on this is it says extra strength and the top is black. So when you go to buy it, make sure if you're looking for the extra strength one, look for the one that says extra strength on it. Um, and I'm gonna follow the directions that they always give. I don't have any leave-in in my hair. I just shampooed and conditioned my hair. I never use leave-in with this product because I don't want anything to interfere with it. Um, let's see, are the directions the same on here? It says blow dry each section using tension, dry her heat required to activate. If, if using a straightener iron, heat should exceed, if using a straightener iron, heat should exceed 380 degrees. Y'all know I don't go over 365. And I feel like a few of you, when I said I was gonna try this, said that y'all tried it, it didn't work. Did y'all follow the directions? The blow dryer that I'm using today is the um, Dyson Supersonic, and I'm going to use it on the second heat setting. I feel like I low key might have used too much. My hair just seems stiff. My hair doesn't have any movement. I'm feeling a little bit of a pasty something. Um, I did feel something on my hair, so you know what, we'll be back in a second. I'm about to go wash my hair again. Okay, so I washed my hair again. I washed my brush, I washed it with um, some soap. Um, tip, if you like feel like your brush or something is dirty and you just wanna get it really clean, use dish soap. And this time, instead of spraying it all in that one section a bunch, I'm just gonna say, spray it on each side heavily. Make sure I get it on those roots where my new growth is. Just using a paddle brush this time and I'm still going to use it on heat setting number two. Okay. Don't feel a film on my hair. My hair isn't as like bouncy as movie as it usually would be because I have so much new growth. But so far so good. This is one of the reasons why I don't do this in the summertime. It is too hot for all of this. I'm hot. So uh, this is what our hair looks like all blow dried with the color wow. It looks like our hair. Can't tell me anything with this hair. Not a single thing. Now I'm gonna finish it off a little bit more. Okay y'all, so final verdict on this product. Do I think she works better than this one? Cause I have both. Um, I don't, I actually, y'all, I feel like I can't really tell the difference. And that's for my hair personally. Now does my, did my hair stay like straight mostly for the most part yeah like my roots aren't very straight but i'm also like six months out from my relaxer so i wasn't expecting them to stay like super duper straight or whatever for my girlies that are natural though and you're like no girl that's the part i wanted to see 
take what you will from that. I'm sorry if y'all hear my computer back here overheating. Um, my roots back here in this portion of my head definitely poofed up. I worked out twice this week. Um, I went on two walks this week. Um, so I was outside in the elements. I didn't just say like locked in and then saying like, oh, this works great. Um, the rest of my hair though, like it's, it was fine, but I do have to also say like majority of this hair is like relaxed. So I can't really speak for, like I said, my girlies who are natural. If you're wondering about this extra strength, I can't really like tell you how it will perform on your hair. But overall, I like the Color Wild product. I think this is a good product to help prolong your style, but it's not a magic potion, okay? I think some people are looking at it in a way of like, oh, this is going to like get rid of any frizz my hair is not going to react to humidity that's not what they're selling here what they're selling here is like a product that will like help fight and combat humidity but it's not going to like eradicate like any reaction your hair will have to humidity that's like what i take from it if you take something different from it you know, that's your prerogative. One thing to point out though, that I did not realize. It also says if you're using a flat iron, heat should not exceed 380 degrees. I absolutely heated up my flat iron to 410 degrees. So did I burn some of it off? I don't know. And I'm also wondering why it doesn't say that on this one. So yeah, that's it y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.